Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody that is on live with us. Hello. If you are not on live, drop a comment down below. It's okay. I still love you. Um, these are going to remain up. So a lot of people are asking on the live videos, which by the way, it's super fun hanging out with you guys live. Um, we should do like a fun social experiment, like drop like a bunch of like Halloween emojis since this is filmed throughout October, obviously. Um, just like all the best Halloween emojis and just like spam the chat with all of that. Okay, let's jump into today. So today, speaking of Halloween videos, one of the most popular videos that happened total by chance, most popular video of all time, hands down, and you guys are probably like all screaming on the other side of your computer was a morning routine. <laughs> and this happened, like I said, it was not planned. It was something that stemmed from something I'm going to take you through today. So it was requested that obviously not only I do a morning routine this month again, and I've developed and kind of perfected my own early morning routine over the years. And since that very first one that I filmed, and I, I think I had filmed some before, maybe I didn't, I, I film them every other season and just how they're progressing and different things that I go through. But the way that it started, and I want you to go through this with me today is I sat down, took out a journal and I wrote out because I was sick and tired of waking up exhausted, shutting off my alarm for like five times in a row and then dragging myself out of bed and going to work just completely drained and unmotivated and exhausted. And I just thought to myself, like, I don't want to live like this. So there's got to be a better way to have a productive morning routine. So I literally sat down and I wrote out what my ideal morning routine would look like. If I had all the money and all the time in the world, what would that look like? And those of you guys that have been through the Academy, this is one of the videos and we go through this together, like in depth, but I kind of want to do like, like a, I was going to say a, a toaster strudel version, a microwave version, but I, I want to start saying that toaster strudel version, <laughs> like basically like a pop, like a quick pop version, pop tart, but toaster strudel are better. Oh my God. You welcome into the way that my brain works. I digress. So let's do a quick microwave version of how I created a viral video strategy, but it stemmed from me just trying to get my life together. So if you had all the time, all the money, all the freedom in the world, what would your not whole day, let's just start with your morning. What would it look like? Would you sleep in? That's okay. If you would, my goal, whenever I wrote this out was I want to wake up early on the days that I feel rested, but I want to wake up without an alarm. Now, do I do that every day? No, because when I'm trying to get myself out of bed at five and I haven't done it in a long time, I need the alarm. But one of my biggest things that was like a non-negotiable was if I do wake up with an alarm, it's going to be pleasant and calm and it's not going to be jarring because that was something that I, and Andre knows this about me too. Like I hate waking up abruptly. It will put me, I think anybody's like that really, but I just, it's like not, it's right up there on my like no fly list. Like do not do that to me because I will be super grump. So I wrote that out of, you know, what do I want in my morning? Do I want to work out first thing? And again, I, I perfected this over the years because what I used to do was I would wake up really early, go downstairs in my living room in the dark, and I would journal and I would listen to my audio book and I would do my personal development, which was great. But by the time that like the hour went by, I was back to being tired and it would take me another couple hours to actually get my workout done. So I thought, okay, this needs to be fixed. I want to wake up early, go straight downstairs where my, well, my body still doesn't know what's going on and mash out my workout. And truth be told, when I do that, I get in the best workout because number one, no one's awake yet. There's nothing to see on social media. So I'm not fiddling on my phone and my body doesn't know what's going on. So I just go ham and I'm like half asleep, but it's amazing. So the way that I do this is I go downstairs, I wake up, I go downstairs. First, I wake up with like my calm serene alarm clock if you've never seen my morning routine. But what I do is I go straight downstairs, take my pre-workout and I'll spin for like 20 minutes. And now Beachbody has their own spin bikes, which I'm super excited. I shared this. Oh my God, total sidebar, but I want to share this with you guys. I wanted to test this out and I was super eager. I finally tried a mix bike, which is the Beachbody bike. And I had heard that people that their knees hurt on a Peloton or whatever other bikes that they want, that they don't hurt on a mix bike. Truth be told, I haven't used my Peloton in, I want to say four months because my knees were like swollen at the end of it. Like it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I just stopped using it and I got to try a mixed bike and it was 
amazing. And because of the spacing of the pedals, you actually don't hurt your hips or your knees as much. And I was honestly, I just want to say like I am and was the biggest Peloton junkie ever. And so to be able to love this bike just as much and now more is amazing. So she was just delivered to our Florida house and her name is Snow White. So the bike comes in white and in charcoal. I'm totally nerding out about the bike with you guys. We are going to talk about morning routine, but I named her Snow White and she's in my office at, in Florida. And then there's a charcoal one coming here this winter. Okay. Okay. So I spin for 20 minutes and then flip the screen around and basically do my actual workout. Like I just spin and I just warm up. Like it's not an intense spin. It might be now that we have beach body ones, but I would just like do like a Disney ride or whatever. Then I do my actual workout, which is like 20 to 30 minutes and I mash it out. That was part of my goals. Like that was something that I wanted to do. And then I would go on with my day. But my goal was that I could get more done before 9 a.m., which is when most people start their work day, than most people would all day. That was that's literally how I wrote it out. So that single activity of journaling out if I had all the money and all the time in the world and then perfecting that morning routine was the thing that led me to a million plus view. I think it's at like two million something plus viewed video. And I've, I've created multitude of a multitude of them. So I want you to go through this activity, not for a viral video idea for your own happiness. Like if you could figure out your own routine and what it is that you want to do in the morning, like I said, with all the freedom in the world, like what would it look like? So Start sharing some ideas down below if there's something that you really, really want to be able to do. I know a lot of you guys were talking about like your kids are like, you have to go to work and, and it breaks your heart. Like what if you could like drive them to school or, you know, be there to see them off to school and to put them on the bus instead of being gone to work or rushing in the morning or whatever it is that frustrates you, what would it look like? And I think that that's the beginning of the magic happening is you figuring out what you want those very simple pieces of your day to look like versus what they look like now. Cool. So with that said, I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes. Bye.